Good morning, hands of Privateer FX. Coming at you, 3rd of June. Had a gap open here in equities, which kind of ruined our trade of the week, uh, which was to sell equities. But we don't want people chasing. We don't want people hitting bids in the 30s. You know, we were thinking we were going to be able to sell some between 50 and 60. Now, that is off for now. We will be fading this if it goes back up towards 50 and 60. But the trade of the week is on hold right now. I have a feeling it's going to be short euros. Um, but as soon as I get my thoughts specifically together, uh, I will let you know. So equities look bad. We're using 27.80 as resistance. So anywhere near here you can sell. We do think 2700 and, and specifically 2725 will hold the first time. This was the very important low on the 8th of March, would let, which led us to a good 100 to handle move there, um, two-week move to the 25th of March. Um, so should be support there first time. Euro, we have all of these PMIs out today, should be negative. First one is Spanish at 915, then we have uh, Italian 945, French and German. Um, these should be negative. These should move us back left hand side. We have ECB on Thursday, which we think is also going to be negative. Philip Lane is going to, the economic projections are going to be lowered. Uh, so we're expecting a bearish ECB. And then we also have this massive technical level here, 111.08, which we think is going to break this week. Um, but you need a series of events to come good. The first has to be negative PMIs. The second has to be negative ECB. Um, and then we'll deal with non-farms on Friday when we get there. So we have a lot of risk going into that. But could be a good little trigger to sell euros today on these negative PMIs. Um, what else? Aussie, we have rates tonight. Good chance this squeezes a little bit higher going into rates. Very hard to trade this going into the RBA. Pretty much everyone's pretty sure they're going to cut, but we won't go in with a position. Um, if you're short Aussie yen, just square it up and restart, retrace, refresh. Uh, we do like getting short Aussie, but we just feel like you need to get this risk event out of the way before... Um, we can get back into these positions. One of the rules we have here at Privateer is if you can't control risk over an event, you just square up. There's always another trade. Uh, get over yourself. Um, and, you know, this is the way we roll. Of course, if you have, if you're a massive long term trader, long term swing trader, and your stops are above 72 cents, then it's a different, different little kettle of fish there. Um, but we're more short term, medium term, you know, one to five day intraday and then one to five day positions. So this is how we manage risk over here. Shutting up now about risk. What else? Euro yen looks bad. Um, same sort of proxy as euro dollar. If we like selling euro yen today on any bounces. Uh, 121.40 looks like a nice place to sell. Um, this low here. 57 held, uh, and 40 was the big congestion, is the hourlies, on Friday. So we never really got, so we saw this, we went up to 41, 41 again, 46, 47, 48, and then we had the fix. And, um, 121.40 looks like a nice place to sell euro yen today. What else? Dollar CAD looks like it wants left again. Uh, this is a function of euro dollar price action more than anything because crude got smoked. Um, but this uh, 134.80 level is, is important for us as kind of our bull bear pivot line today. Prices below or an hourly close below 80. Um, you have to look around and see what's happening. And if the dollar is, is unanimously bearish, as in euro dollars cruising higher, maybe PMIs come in hot. Rather than buy euros, we like to sell dollar CAD. And 
dollar cad as you see we're, we're seeing it as a function of euro dollar it is not a function of crude it is not really a function of risk off metrics right now these correlations are not not really in play um, what is in play is its correlation with euro um, that's the way we see it and this is recently how it's being being driven uh, we talked about Aussie yen and Aussie be careful there um, dollar Swiss approaching the 200 day moving average we're not suggesting buy this um, looks like the markets caught a little bit long dollar Swiss and so this stuff often slices through like here in March we we went 100 points through or 70 points through the 200 day then had congestion and then back up but there will be congestion here it's not super helpful but within sort of 50 points of the of the 200 day um, just avoid dollar Swiss I don't know why I'm even talking about it lastly cable uh, this looks like it's turned a lot of bad news is priced into cable um, obviously it's London's going to be in the headlines with Trump over there and and I'm not sure what that means as far as their currency is concerned but this is very very stretched downside this looks like a turn bar um, the underlying fundamentals of the UK economy are okay uh, it's just Brexit bullshit that's driving this is bad Brexit priced in here obviously no Brexit is not priced in but I don't think the House of Lords is gonna let no Brexit happen anyway there's every chance um, cable turns higher and for us euro sterling is the one so obviously a new daily low on euro sterling will be 88.22 we don't mind being short euro sterling with a stop above um, 88.73 so this is kind of on our radar possibly long long cable BTPs we still are selling high ones uh, this is going to open in the 70s I don't think we're going to get much of a high one um, and boons if somehow things go risk on this is the one we sell obviously we're not even we're not considering risk on at the moment because everything's very risk off but boons are massively stretched and this will be the first thing we smash if things somehow turn we're obviously incredibly far from this turn but just just to have the flexible mind trading mind thinking you have to be flexible right so it's just a series of what if conversations in your head and even if the most outlandish what if stuff goes in your head you have to have a, a response for it for us risk on uh, we sell boons anyway I've said enough uh, PMI's are going to be driving the European morning today and this will be a huge focus for us the rest of it is sell high ones on risk um, and perhaps buy some cable and be aware that the RBA uh, will be tomorrow morning in Europe 6:30 a.m. all right make some dough everyone have a good day I will talk to you through Twitter later